The problem is you believe what you think, but you hate what you think. So can you see how this brings up some conflict? I know, I know it's kind of deep. We tend to believe everything we think. We don't question our thought process. So when we think something that elicits a, an emotional reaction, we think the emotions are true and real because we're feeling it. And then all of a sudden we begin to react and it spins us out of control. And then we wonder why we're so chaotic, why life is so disappointing, and why I, I look to numb and sedate. And it's all because I, I hate what I think. So what if there was a way to actually begin to change that? Because one of my mentors asked me, are you in good company? And I thought, well, what do you mean? He goes, well, who are you with when you're alone? And ask yourself, are you in good company? And I'm like, oh crap. Okay, who am I with when I'm alone? I'm with me. Am I in good company? Wow, no. <laughs> And the problem is, is I, I didn't know there was a version of me that I could love. I didn't know there was a version of me that actually could fulfill all of my expectations above and beyond and totally accept all my failures and actually look forward to them. And that didn't really start to happen until I began to question what I thought. And then once I began to question what I thought, I started to put it on paper and I would ask myself, why do I think this is true? And then what was incredible is my brain would show all the reasons why it thought it was true. And so many made me laugh out loud. And I started asking different questions. Well, what else could this mean? Or, well, do I know this 100% to be true? Because what if I'm actually bringing my own dialogue and my own story into this, but I'm skewing them as facts? And this is the part that created a, a void or a gap for me that allowed me to take a step back and to say, holy cow, I would believe every single thought I had and I couldn't stand to be alone with my thoughts. So that is where we find ourselves today, my friends. Do you love your thoughts? And again, there's no right or wrong answer. There's no judgment. I still have thoughts all the time where I'm like, what the hell? But the question is, is first, since we know we believe our thoughts, do you love your thoughts? And if not, start putting them down on paper and start tearing them apart. Start to investigate. Start to look to, to poke holes in the case, if you will, kind of like a detective. And this is how we begin to, to bring doubt where doubt is due. Instead of doubting your certainty, why don't we doubt all the crap that our brain tells us, that, that our thoughts tell us of not being good enough, not being lovable, not being worthy, all the, all the battles that we were raised with. Those are the thoughts that I want to encourage you to start to doubt. Because once we start doubting and creating holes in these storylines, we find out, oh my gosh, everybody else is struggling with the same thing I am. What does that mean? That means I can talk openly about it and not have to shy away and think I'm so alone. So today's question is, is how can you challenge your thoughts so you begin to love your thoughts so you can actually choose to enjoy what you believe?